hey, let's introduce you to our bakeware cookware line, okay? So we have lots of specialty pans. So if you're looking for that specialty pan for doing something like uh, donut holes, for example, okay? You can do like cake pops, whatever you want to. This is the donut hole pan. I love that it comes in this beautiful blue teal color. It's just one of my favorite colors. But anyway, this is the donut hole pan. So if you're wanting to make some donut holes or how about meatballs? Meatballs would be perfect inside of here too. It would help to keep them in their round shape, throw them in the oven, and then you could cook up some meatballs too, all right? So this is a donut hole pan. We also have, a donut pan. So if you want to make your own donuts and be in control of your own ingredients and so that you're not having to run through the drive through all the time to satisfy your kid's donut craving, this is the perfect one. Also makes great mini bagels. Um, lots of different ideas that you could use with the donut pan. Okay, so those are our donut pans. So let's move back here and let's see what else we got. This is a snack bar maker. It's a silicone pan that you can put into the microwave or into the oven or even freeze it. So we, you can save lots of money by making your own granola bars. And like I said, once again, you are in control of the ingredients that are going inside of it. It's a silicone bowl, or pan, they just pop out. So like I said, microwave safe, oven safe, freezer safe. You can do a lot of things with this one, okay? This one is our mini loaf pan. Um, perfect for mini meat loaves. If you're trying to do portion control, maybe you wanna make banana nut bread or zucchini bread season is coming up too, you could do that as well. So there's lots of different things that you can do inside of a mini loaf pan. Um, want a quick grab and go breakfast in the morning? Use a waffle stick pan. Um, pour in your pancake batter in here, let it bake in the oven, and then you have pop and go waffle sticks. Um, it has these little divots right here that helps you keep all the syrup right there together. Mm, yes, yeah, perfect for dipping, but you can also do cornbread in it. Um, it'd be perfect for just, you know, any type of a quick little meal. You could do, um, oh my gosh, there's so many different things you could do with it. Anything you need long and skinny, hey, this is your pan, okay? Um, this next pan is a mini bump pan. Um, mini fluted pan is what they call it. I use this pan most of the time for egg scramblers. So I would put in like eggs and milk and cheese and um, spinach and all that kind of stuff and then bake them. And then the great thing about them guys is that they have this natural release that they just pop out. And so then I have a quick, easy grab and go breakfast every morning when I'm heading out the door. So this is can be used for more than just mini fluted cake pans, okay? All right, and the next thing we got is our brownie pan one of our most popular pans out there is our brownie pan collection okay this one's going to make perfect little petite um, brownies for like a baby shower wedding shower or more portion control whatever you want to that you can bake in it this is just going to give you basically a little mini brownie probably about a one by one inch square okay it's a perfect little pan to also do that this is our brownie pan holds a one full box of brownie mix um, it's perfect for somebody who wants the crispy outside edge, but somebody who also wants the chewy middle. Gives you the best of both worlds. Once again, such a versatile pan for doing many things more than just brownies. I make mini lasagnas in here. Put a little ravioli in here, like a frozen ravioli. Then a little bit of, you know, cottage cheese, ricotta cheese mix, whatever in between. Another ravioli on top, sprinkle it with some cheese, and you have the perfect mini ravioli pan as well. It's like a little mini lasagna pan, perfect, like I said, once again for portion control and everybody can make their own as well so that is our brownie pan and then we have our muffin pan series so this is a mini muffin pan perfect for mini muffins or i like to take the wonton wrappers are you familiar with those you can get them in the um deli section take a wonton wrapper fill them with like a mixture of cheddar cheese and um crumbled ground sausage and cream cheese, mix that all up with, use one of the scoops, fill them up, put the little wonton wrappers in here and bake them until the tops become crispy. And then they're a quick grab and go snack appetizer. We use this pan a lot for what we call um, sausage wontons, okay? They are just so delicious in that. So this is the little mini uh, muffin pan. And then we have just your regular size muffin pan, you know, basically holds the standard uh, 12 muffins. And then we have our also our large muffin pan. So once again, perfect for large quiches or those huge um, chocolate chip muffins, all those things that we like. Um, so this um, pan is a great collection as well. So out of all of these pans, 
you surely can find one or two that you need to throw into your kitchen on this party. All right, guys, that's it. Happy baking series and um, enjoy the pants. They're so, so easy, so user-friendly. Wash up nicely, store nicely, and you can't go wrong with a pampered stuff pan.